My friends, there are so many ways to tell a story. The version of the sword and the stone that you have seen is only one of many that was considered when this tale was being molded. Listen and you shall hear a different beginning for the legend of the boy who became King of England. King Uther is dead and his young son Arthur, the rightful heir to the throne, has disappeared. The kingdom is in chaos. A miraculous sword in a stone has appeared, with a legend declaring that he who draws the sword is rightful born King of England. But no one can succeed. Madame Nim and a black knight have devised a devious plan. They resolve to find the lost Prince Arthur and then take over his throne. They send a raven in search of him. The raven finds Prince Arthur, now called Wart, retrieving arrows for the knight Kay. Wart begs Kay for a chance to try his hand at the bow, and Kay reluctantly allows Wart to shoot an arrow. The raven seizes the arrow in mid-air and flies away. Kay is furious about losing the arrow and sends little Wart into the dangerous forest, warning him, don't come back without it. The raven teases and taunts Arthur, drawing him deeper and deeper into the woods and into the hands of his masters, Madame Nim and the Black Knight. The forest becomes dark and even more foreboding. But before Madame Nim can get her hands on Wart, he is rescued by Merlin. Merlin, though, is an unlikely champion, as he can hardly get through the front door of his own house until he uses magic 